Your efforts helped save a young woman that night, but also changed your life forever and your families. Your honorable actions have positively impacted our community. It is a great pleasure to present you with the Chief's Award for Valor, and thanks for your courageous intervention. Well, today, Ray gets honored um, for our, his courageous and heroic actions for August 4th of 2013. We love to recognize citizens here, and we've got really strong health traditions in the St. Paul Police Department. You know, I pay police officers, and we get paid to go into harm's way. You don't. And what you did was simply heroic. We're so proud of you. And again, let's give Mr. Widstrand a loud round of applause. It's really an honor not just to have my actions recognized, but I also hope we recognize the hard work that other people have put into, especially the police. While I am deeply honored to get this award, I'm excited that we're also acknowledging people like Taniqua Givens, people who put themselves in harm's way to help strangers, because there is a lot of good in, inside of humanity. And I think it's important that we recognize that and not just focus on the dark, but see that there's a great wealth of light that is within humanity. Ray's a unique individual, and for him to talk more about Taniqua, who actually came to help him, you know, I, I spoke about paying it forward. Ray puts himself in tremendous harm's way, and Taniqua, who's actually out there at the party, throwing herself on top of Ray, maybe saving his life. Um, it means a lot. I'm glad I saved him, and I'm glad he's here with his family. I could have walked past and let it happen, but that's that's just not me. And if I could, I'd do it again. <laughs> Exquisite to meet him. And he's, he, I love his Kool-Aid smile. He seems like the same person he was. His positive energy um, and his positive attitude, the fact that he brings something that could make others just fall into a deep, dark hole. He just brings this personality and humor and enjoyment of the fact that life is much, much more. I'm doing well. Um, the recovery has gone quite nicely. Um, I've progressed a long way. There still are a few more hurdles for, of ways for me to go, but for the most part, I feel like I've come a long way and I'll keep going every day a little bit better. He has his ups and downs for sure. Um, physically, I think he's doing, he's doing very well. Mentally, too. I, um, I believe that he's just going to continue to get better and grow, but I, it, it has been tough. He's gotten better every time I've seen him, and uh, he's come a long way. And I have a ways to go in my recovery every day a little bit better, but I hope that uh, to recover fully. Um, to get back out on my own. And I actually have recently started to get involved with the Brain Injury Alliance. They're helping me again with uh, my recovery as far as wanting to move out and do more things independently. So they're looking for housing options for me. So again, and I want to get more involved with them. I just want to thank people who are here and who aren't here, but who have been there for me in spirit. I've been in a lot of people's prayers, a lot of people's thoughts, and I just want to thank them because, you know, even if you're not physically here, it still means a lot to me just to have that support. <laughs>